Well, good morning. Welcome back. We're out on the river today. Super stoked about it. Uh, never fished this river, this stretch of river in my life. This is the first time I've seen it. Um, we're actually fishing for some big trout. Uh, from winning a tournament with my good buddy, we're, back, we're out here plugging, chasing some big old rainbows. Got some good plugs, got some bunch of different colors. Excited about it. There's some, supposed to be some pretty big ones in here. Um, and maybe some steelhead. So that's the goal today, to catch some nice trout. Um, heard they fight pretty hard. I think any anytime you have a big volume of water like what we have here, I think these fish will fight super hard. They, you've got to think they're, they're fighting current their entire lives. So once you hook one, it should be game on. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm excited to see what the day has has to offer. Um, yeah, we're gonna get some of these plugs out, send them back. Maybe we'll catch a big old, big old rainbow. So stay tuned. Maybe we'll catch a big one. Ready? Me. So I got a long line. God, that sun is horrible, dude. So with not knowing this river, you know, we're going down. You know, didn't really have any expectations. And what I'm doing, I'm kind of typewriting back and forth, you know, and kind of taking these plugs and just going back and forth with the river, just slowly going down. And uh, it didn't take too long. I think it only took 15, you know, 10 to 15 minutes for, for our first bite. But boom, our first rod goes off, and uh, we get our first fish of the day. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Uh, no, he's on. He's on. Still on there? Ooh, dark boy. What is this, 10? Yeah, it's 10. Damn, look how cool that fish is. <laughs> I'm gonna keep him in the water. You can touch him. That's a cool looking fish, dude. But yeah, dude, right on. That's a beautiful looking fish. There he goes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, single buried in the roof. Buried. Here. Put some more juice on there. He was that was a pretty looking fish. That was cool, it buried it. And then it like it looked like it popped off. But he's probably just like you say, he probably yeah, ran right at you. Went, went, then it just got heavy. So I was thinking about like rowing all the way over, stay on top of this I guess top of this riffle, and maybe rowing back up and then going down this this side chute on the left. Fishy, it does. It looks really fishy. You want to put this one in the rod over for me? Good to go. Yeah, that one's good to go. Number one, right on. So, so what's our goal today? Yeah, we got one, right? I didn't. I didn't. I guess my uh, intro didn't cover this. Like, what's our goal? Yeah, we got one. To have a good time. To have a good. Well, all right, we're having a good time already. I guess we, we accomplished our goal. <laughs> That'd be cool. I mean, that might be hard to do, but I think I think so. I mean, I just don't know this river. You know, like I, I, ten fish would be awesome. We're on the valve though. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good luck in this boat. It only took us half hour. We already got one. Yeah. sliding over a little bit and uh, we got our second bite but you know unfortunately we didn't get that fish in the boat you know with these hooks they're super sharp but uh you know these fish have a you know weird way of just coming off you know we even though we're in the right you know amount of current where those fish should stick that hook and should be pinned but you know unfortunately that's just the game of plug fishing you do miss some fish but uh you know we didn't it didn't go too long before we got our our second fish Hold up. Stick. Oh, oh I, just have, I just got smoked on that rod. Mine in a bat. Three bites. Just feeding it back. Just stopped it. Oh, that was a bite. That was 100% a bite. There it is, there it is. Good one. Still on there? Can you check that other rod? 
That's it's all right. Is it in that rod? Yeah. Is that a cutthroat? That is too bright, but that's a good looking fish, dude. All right, as you guys can see, all these fish are just absolutely beautiful jumbo wild rainbows we're fishing in the middle of summer i mean it's august in california it's hot you know it's upwards of 100 degrees and even though that water was probably low to mid 50s i mean we waited a little bit later in the day and our legs went numb it wasn't warm so that's kind of why we're getting these fish back in the water so fast even though we're using barbless single hooks uh we just we just wanted to take that in, into consideration and get them back into that water even though it's it's hard to get the right shot show you guys how perfect and beautiful they actually are Well guys, sorry about that that sun blinding you. Horrible angle, but so far we got two. Not bad. We've had how many bites? Six bites? Six bites. Roughly six bites this morning. Ain't too bad. After catching our first little a couple fish, we decided to bounce down, bounce down river. So we go through the first little riffer, riffle, and there's this beautiful little slot, this beautiful little seam line. And I decided just to keep that that boat right in that seam line. And these plugs were working super hard. And boom, Kirby's rod goes off again. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Still on? Yeah. They won. Good. Yeah, that's huh? Dang it, that was a good one. Never jumped too. Oh. You should have seen the color on that fish. Really? It's like gold. Oh, man. That was in the middle of the river, dude. Out here. You know, it's kind of funny. You know, you, you stick a lot of these fish and you think they're five, six, seven pounds and you get them up to the boat and they're, you know, I think our average fish was about 16 to 18 inches. And, uh, you just think you got a giant on and no, I mean it was just right here and it made one last dig and it pulled out. What hook was it in the back one? I couldn't tell. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll fish down this a little bit and then we'll row over in that calm water. Yeah. Row up and then we'll You wanna back call them up and we go up it? I don't know, we need to do that. Damn that one looks so sick. A little bigger than the the other one? About another three pounder or so. Really? Yeah, it might have been a little bigger, it might have been a four pounder. It was real long. What was that nine bites? That was a hell of a takedown, dude. That was your, that was your textbook. Oh, there's another, there's another, there's another. Still on there? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Oh, it came off? I never got it, yeah, just wiggling. Dang. He was pinned, too, dude, that rod. Double. Which one are we going to get Probably that one. Is that 11 bites? 11 bites? Oh, my stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I put a little more line out on the last bite. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's one. There's one, baby. There's one. There's one. <laughs> this feels so heavy. How big? Not even that big. No, just current. Oh, he's not, huh? <laughs> Football, <laughs> dude. That was a <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll hold it over the water. Look at that. Look at that rainbow. Beautiful, huh? Wow. Such a nice fish. Good to go? Yeah, he took off good. 
hard to kind of revive them in this Niagara Falls. That's cool. And this one, I love it. This one just died on me, but. So after that last fish we just landed, uh, Austin was messing with his plug, just got the anchor down and decided to try something different. So I put that plug behind the boat. We're pretty good, pretty good current right there in that spot. And just feeding it back with my thumb, just, just trying to get the plug back as fast as I can, but have enough drag on it in that current to make sure that that thing's wiggling right. And it got back maybe 40, 40 feet behind the boat. It just buried it in my hands pretty good. No way. This is great. This is great. <laughs> I'm over here messing with a plug. one dude oh he's angry he's a tugger he's a tugger don't let him bust your test i can't see dude that's a beautiful fish dude look at that it's cutthroat dude look at that all right jeez that's about as perfect as they get right there that's awesome right on dude is that is that four Four for 12? Yeah. We don't want to talk about that part. <laughs> hey, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So fishing that spot for a little bit, we decided to you know, slide down and fish that rest of that little that little seam and after we got down we decided to come back up and we slid back over to that spot i dropped the anchor and i wanted to try something a little bit different so i picked up my spinning rod picked up my little steelhead slammer and i made two or three casts and on that third cast i stick a nice fish good one good one too <laughs> <laughs> on the steelhead slammer, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah! Dude, look at that. <laughs> so, go ahead and pull it out. That's a nice fish, dude. Yeah, 21 inches. <laughs> so long. That was sick, dude. Did he eat in front of the concrete? Oh, yeah. Smashed it. Three casts with the spinner. Smoke this thing. Steelhead slammer spinner. Oh yeah, dude. I like this one a lot. Here. Yeah, what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll actually row up and we're gonna fish this inside seam. Kirby sent out the, out that first rod, and you know he put that rod in the rod holder. Picks up the next rod, just slide that one out, and he couldn't even get that rod out. And that that first rod just doubles over, and we catch another oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's funny. It was in there for like five seconds. Scary. That's a beautiful fish, dude. Patrick? That's beautiful, dude. A three pounder, roughly? That's got to be a three pounder, isn't it? Hard. Jeez. Thanks, dude. Right on. <laughs> that plug wasn't out there for. 10 seconds. <laughs> Let all those fly guys go down. We'll just slide on over. <laughs> I love it. We'll put this one in the right right rod holder. Not yet. Gonna feed it I'm gonna feed it a little bit. Maybe get bit, who knows? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, God, Ooh, stripping line? 
non-stop every single time you put that plug out there so that's uh how many bytes 15 17. 16 bytes because yours was 15. that's crazy 17th bite unreal dude and anyway, we were talking about this trip all week uh oh came off anchor fish the tugger pulled us off anchor i guess we can always come back up huh i can yeah i mean look at strip in line all right i'm gonna pull up pull anchor and we'll slide over it felt like an absolute giant it was, it was a beautiful solid wild rainbow but i'm like austin pull the anchor pull the anchor we slid back down and got in a little bit calmer water and got that fish in the net they're so they're perfect every single one wow look at that dude wow that is un ooh angry. That's beautiful, dude. Barbless hooks pop right out. That is, that's amazing. <laughs> you mind if I let your fish go? Absolutely, let her rip. Probably ready to go. Wow. There she goes. Oh, green bass. Oh, that was so sick. Good job, dude. Wow. Wow. This Unreal. Isn't, this isn't the worst day. No. <laughs> this day don't suck so far. I mean, you didn't hit anything. going down river I'm doing the same thing I'm typewriting back and forth and it didn't take too long and Kirby's rod you know went off again it seems like every like 20 feet it seems like one of the rods are going off you don't know which one it's going to be it's super exciting on there yeah sir and I go to net it and of course the hooks get caught in the net this is hanging outside of the net it was just a get them in the boat disaster but we got that fish in the boat well that's not that's not the way you're supposed to net them <laughs> As you guys can tell, things are getting a little chaotic at this point. You know, we have one hanging in the net. Austin's working on that fish, and I had my back turned to the other rod. And uh, I don't know if I was hurt or if I, I just, I don't know. I had that weird feeling. I turn around, that thing was buried, and I'm like, okay, this is our gold fish. You know, we've never fished this river up here before, so go and get that rod. And, and at this point, we kind of stopped losing them. You know, in the morning, we lost a lot of fish, and got that one in the net, and we accomplished our ten fish goals. Ready? I'm ready. See, that's how you're supposed to net them. Oh, perfect. That's how it's supposed to come off. Wait, Let's see that fish, dude. That's our goal. That was 10. Number 10. She's beautiful, too. She's a beauty. They're all beautiful fish up here. Crazy. So much fun. Well, there's, our, there's our goal. How many went a quarter mile? We're still right here. Half mile, probably. So, half mile from the ramp, we've caught caught 10 rainbows which has been a phenomenal day we've had i don't know how many bites 20, 20 yeah. almost 20 bites all on plugs probably one of the best plug days i've ever had to be totally honest just for numbers of fish um these actually these rainbows are big uh i never i never knew like so obviously our salmon season was closed so we're trying to find some stuff to do you know and doing our research and uh this river was always here just it's like a three hour drive for us so we just you know obviously like i said sam season closed we're like shoot what's why not why, why don't we just come up here to this amazing river we heard some really good things about it and uh it is not letting us down this river is unbelievable you have a lot of water to still get oh they got oh they got one up there first fly guy i've seen catch one all day but um yeah we still have a about lot of time yeah about time we've seen 72 drift boats go by and that was the first fish we've seen catch anyway we've got plenty of river left and uh hopefully we can catch a big one well curb this one's probably one of the nicest looking fish we've caught all day 
Such a nice fish. Yeah. That's like a steelhead, dude. Dude, that's so nice. Jeez. Beautiful. Oh, good, good job, dude. Good that was awesome. Just that rod was, just. That was a big wild rainbow right there. That was sweet. Probably the last one we're probably gonna catch today. I mean, we still have a little bit of river left, but um, I'd be happy if we ended it on that note. Absolutely. You know? that's, that's gonna be hard to beat right there. That's gonna be super hard to beat. You know, All chrome has been, uh, been yeah. a hot plug today. This, this little 3.0 maglip, it's all chrome. We had one that was uh, chrome and blue, but now it is all chrome. There is no blue left on it at all. Um, have that lined up with like a 10 pound fluorocarbon to a 30 pound braid um, backing or it's just main line. But um, super- we, we lost quite a few on the barbless hooks though. Yeah, yeah, we probably <laughs> lost. I mean, how many hookups do you think we had today? I think that was around 35 hookups. Yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of hookups. Um, Lance, I think 16, 17 landed? Yeah, 16 roughly, 15, 16 fish landed and every single one of them just absolute specimens. Um, this river is unreal. I am so happy we decided to come up here for the day and target some of these fish. Um, man, pretty cool. I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, there's just, I've never seen anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you know, the last video we fished snag proof together and we had a pretty epic day. Um, you know, obviously we won snag proof, which was awesome. And then, uh, we decided to get back out in the river. It's been a couple weeks. Try something totally different. Yeah, totally different. You know, we're bass fishing, actually went tuna fishing, uh, in between, you know, this trip and snag proof, but didn't catch anything. I filmed, but you know when there's no fish <laughs> no activity so i didn't i didn't you know, obviously edit that video and, and make a video of it because there was nothing to exciting but um yeah i'm uh i don't know what i got going next i think the next thing i got actually is uh september 1st if you know what september 1st is Ooh, that's a holiday that's a holiday for us hunters yeah that's uh opening dove day. day yeah dove day opening day of dove season so um i do have a spot out in the delta but it's an evening thing yeah no i'm super stoked about today um now what we have a way to end it yeah what a way to end it on that that big one last fish of the day i was kind of uh what's the way to say it i was kind of not mentally out of it but either there was a sheriff boat that ran up and then came back down and then a jet skier and then a jet sled that ran just through this whole section i'm like how is a fish gonna even eat, eat a plug i'd be spooked if i was a, a trout you know big old loud motor blowing right over the top of them and then well i guess it don't matter because that fish just choked it <laughs> you yeah, know too, so it's only like four or five feet right there where yeah just, where that fish ate. yeah you stand up you can see the bottom you know it's not it's not deep at all but um man curb thanks for coming out dude we were Let's talking about all week rolling, yeah man. keep this train rolling let's uh keep making some good videos hopefully i got some good footage today so anyway we're gonna wrap it up right here thanks for watching stay tuned for this video or next video and uh hopefully you guys like this one so see you guys next time see you guys